Hi everybody, Chris here, Poolside, talking NFL playoffs, and what a game it was in the NFC wildcard round last night in Landover. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers held off the Washington football team 31-23 at FedEx Field. Head coach Bruce Arians and his team happy with the win, but not with their performance. This performance defensively wouldn't be, offensively it would be, but uh, we'll, we'll show up and, and see, uh, I think, some of our guys, I don't think veterans did, but some of our young guys kind of might have relaxed when Alex Smith wasn't playing. And I kind of kept preaching at him. This kid can run. He can do a lot of things. And, uh, you know, he, he almost beat us with his legs. But I'm never going to apologize for winning And next week's next week. We hit some big plays, made some chunks. Um, I think just not scoring enough in red area probably is the thing that, that uh, bothers us. Missed a two-point play. Um, had other opportunities to score and just didn't quite take advantage. So... Move the ball okay. I think we had you know decent yardage, but at the end of the day, it comes down to points, and we got to do a better job scoring more points, and um, you know work on that next week. Great to get a win, and uh, figure out who we're playing tomorrow, and go from there. They were a good unit. Um, they played hard tonight, uh, but uh, like I said, I'm taking my unit a hundred times out of you know what I'm saying uh, all the time. So no matter what, uh, I'm always go to battle with my guys. Uh, but, uh, you know, hats off to everybody who played well today. We had to adjust to just not seeing much film on this guy, you know, um, knowing that he can run, uh, obviously, but not knowing what they're going to do and how they're going to attack us with him, knowing that he can run. And so that was the main thing. We kind of just um, just had to still play to our, our same kind of um, script, if I would say script, and um, just, just play, play ball. Washington was forced to start backup quarterback Taylor Heineke as starter Alex Smith was out with a pulled calf. He delivered. Head coach Ron Rivera talked about his performance. It was gutsy. It was, um, it, it really was. And, and you know, it, it, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, a guy like him who, who works hard at, at, at what he does, you know, he, he's create an opportunity for himself and, and we'll see what happens. But I'm just very, very proud of what he did coming out and competing the way he did and helping us uh, to get where we are today. Focused on doing my job, uh, getting completions, letting those guys do their thing. But, you know, looking back at the game in the next couple of days, um, it's going to be something I'll be really proud about. Um, you know, just the way what everything that's happened in the past month and a half um, and to go out there and do that. I, I'm, I'm proud of myself and, you know, I'm, Happy that coaches, you know, believed in me, gave me that opportunity. So, um, again, you know, hopefully I can do it again next year. I dove in the end zone for that pylon. Uh, I reached out my arm, and uh, when I hit the ground, I felt a little click or a pop. And, um, you know, I didn't feel good after that, you know. And the next series, I got hit and hit the ground a couple of times and decided we should go in and, and look at it. And um, it was an AC joint separation, um, you know, we came back out there, wanted to gut it out. And, uh, you know, we, we put everything out there on the line, but, you know, just came up a little short. So the Buccaneers move on to the divisional round. With the Rams defeating the Seattle Seahawks, they have a chance at a home game next week. That's if the Chicago Bears defeat the New Orleans Saints later today.